Hi ladies, hi gents, hope you're well and keep them warm here in the UK, it's super early, really really early, I've literally just got up and um, it's snowing <laughs> still and it's supposed to get worse the next three days but um, I still had four packages um, to open so I thought I'm going to get up super early, get them filmed and hopefully get them up today because I want to try and keep on top of them um, and I want to do it before I try and head off to work uh, right now the roads are moving quite well so we should be able to get into work okay today however I am supposed to be going into the city tomorrow into London and I'm hoping they cancel it. We've got a big company meeting and I'm hoping they're going to cancel it because I don't want to get stuck in London for the night. <laughs> <coughs> On another note, I just want to say um, I'm getting a huge amount of comments across my videos, not just the challenge videos, but you know, all, all the videos all my other videos as well so each day I'm getting hundreds of comments on on videos and I can't reply to them all personally as in in detail uh, responses um, so as long as I love the comment or like the comment and at least say thank you um, it's it's about as much as I can <laughs> keep up with at the moment Obviously, if it's the person that sent the the challenge entry, I'm 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 doing a more personal comment to them. But everyone else, I'm just thanking them and telling them, um, you know, that all the entries are really inspirational. They're all wonderful. They're all beautiful. Because you know, I I go into a lot of detail in the videos, and I just can't respond to every comment personally, as in a long response because between the filming, the processing, the uploading and then all the comments plus all the emails, you know, I'm, I'm really working overtime <laughs> on my YouTube video when I'm not at work. Um, so I am really, really grateful for every comment that's left but right now with all this um, challenge, I, uh, I can't write long responses, so please bear with me. As as long as I thank people, I feel like you know that's important. I like to to thank everyone for their comments, um, but I'm sorry if I can't go into a long, detailed response. I I am overwhelmed with with the amount of comments because um, what's happening. There's lots of new people coming across and they're not just watching the challenge videos, they're then watching other videos of mine and, and, and leaving lots of detailed comments on those and, and it's, it's been a bit overwhelming but I, I, as long as I thank people I, I feel like that's the most important thing uh, right now. So please, please bear with me. I am trying to keep up with it all and, and show um, uh, how much I appreciate everything and please do bear in mind I do work full time as well so I am doing this every evening and early in the morning to try and keep up with it so I hope you'll bear with me ok so I've got a couple of entries here and they're from the UK I'll put my glasses on And I am sorry, I've got morning voice, you know, literally. Woke up, must film. <laughs> <coughs> That's how important it is to me to try and keep up with these for you all because I appreciate so much everyone that is taking part. But, you know, I want to give, give back. So this entry is from Julie Derry. Hi, Julie. Yes, she's here in the UK. There's a card here. Oh, wow. Look at this card. Isn't that beautiful? That butterfly is just gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. I love the colour of it. That's stunning. I'm just going to read. Oh, thank you, Julie. Oh, that's so sweet. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And um, this package, oh my goodness, I love, love this little um, rosebud trim. It's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And then there's washi tape that says, with love. Oh, look. Oh, thank you for this. I absolutely adore this. Oh, Trim, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. That's so kind. And I know that this is actually quite hard to find in the UK. But I have been looking, um, you know, like on AliExpress and in China for it as well. it's got more of this this one's in pink and this one's in lilac look at that thank you so much Julie I, I, I absolutely adore this trim I wonder if you got it from a local haberdashery beautiful look at this look at these turn it around they are gorgeous beautiful thank you so much for that and look at this beautiful napkin I love this oh it ripped it Oh my goodness, wow. Oh, Julie, let me move that to the side. Oh my goodness, All right. I just want to check details are in the back. Let me take your details out. They're held on by this little stick pin. Yeah. Let me just take your details out. And then I'll show you. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this tag. Isn't that gorgeous? And I can see you've used that. That beautiful trim. And this lace. That is gorgeous. Oh, favourite colour. Love too many, so I don't have a particular fave. Favourite styles, vintage, shabby chic, gypsy and gothic. Love fairies, unicorns, dragons and all things mythical. And my fair babies. Oh, Julie, I think you haven't put on here if you've got a YouTube channel. I've got a feeling you have, because I'm pretty sure you leave me comments. So I'm, I'm going to have a look. But, um... Do let me know because I'm pretty sure you have. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have. Um, but this tag is gorgeous. All right, so if I just show you that. Julie has used the most beautiful eyelet lace on the back of her, her inspiration piece. And she's put this little, the, the tag was tucked in here, then pinned at the top. Now, things remove that pin things that inspire Julie oh my goodness so many beautiful things so whites, creams pinks, lilacs greens of different shades, beiges tea dyed oh my goodness 
like you say, you love all colours. This is just stunning. So there's beautiful laces and dangle laces. I love the way you've got these vintage laces just hanging down the side. All these, I think there's two or three different dangle laces down the bottom. And there's a lace in the background. There's pearls. There's a, a applique of embroidery that is gorgeous, and it's got beads and sequins and flowers. It's just beautiful. An applique here. Then there's a tiny fairy. This beautiful. I'm going to say that's a vintage brooch. I'm pretty sure that's a vintage brooch on there. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Pearls coming down here. I've got one quite similar to this, but it's a different shape at the top. It's absolutely stunning. I'm almost certain that's a vintage. It's tucked up there. Brooch. Absolutely certain. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. And all this lace in the background. The most a beautiful doily flower made up of different doilies and it's got a little heart charm pinned onto it and then these beautiful velvet flowers in these <coughs> excuse me uh, beautiful colours with little beads in the centre and then it's a little piece of fabric tied on here um, oh look at the embroidery on that lace in the background and then there's this um, applique here with some of that tiny dainty flower trim in the pink. There's more lace here, a green flower applique. There's lace behind this applique, flower applique, which could be a wedding applique. There's this another piece of embroidered um, applique here and it's like cream and the palest green. It's beautiful with diamantes. There's also a bit of tatting up here in the corner with some flowers tied in a bow. So much inspiration, that is beautiful. And then, dangling down, is the most amazing pearl um, tassel. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I love that. I wonder if you made that. Julie, did you make this? This is stunning. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do let us know if you made this tassel. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Julie. This is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So beautiful. I love the brooch as well. Well, I love it all, but... And I love the embroidery on... I can just see little bits of embroidery on the background lace. That is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I will find out if Julie has a YouTube channel. Um, it may be that she doesn't do videos. I'm not sure. I'll double check. Um, but this is just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Julie. I absolutely love this. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let me move your details. Do let us know about this um, tassel. I've got people messaging me already this morning. <laughs> it's so too early to be, them to be talking to me about work. <laughs> anyway. Probably people letting me know that they can't get in. <laughs> Excuse me. And there's a couple of little glassine bags here. And my fingers, I'll just try and cut the tape a little bit. Oh, it's so cold.
Okay. <laughs> and there. Oh, look. And there's a little envelope with a flower on. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And then some sewing washi tape on the back. That's so cute. That's just... Oh! Oh my goodness, Julie! Oh my goodness, Julie! Oh! Oh, it's a pearl brooch. Oh my goodness, Julie. That... I collect these. I have a footstool that I made and and reupholstered and it, whenever I go anywhere, like to car boots and that, I look for these brooches. I just love them. Oh, Julie, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, that is just so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I absolutely adore these. I, I, I very, very rarely use them in my projects because I love to... I, I like to collect pretty things as well as craft and I absolutely adore these brooches. I just love the way the pearls hang and I pin them all on my footstool. Oh, Julie, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's a teardrop one. But you can get them with the... the um, round pearls on. Oh, Julie, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Oh. And there's another glassine bag here. I'm going to try to move this one open easy for me. And it's got two little envelopes in it. Love these. Do you know I never thought of using the little envelopes like this. I used I used them in like journals or mini albums, but I never thought of using them as little gift envelopes. I don't know why. These are so cute, they look so cute. Oh no way. You've sent me another one. Julie. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm so touched. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, Julie, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm lost for words. Thank you, Julie. Gosh, it's not good to get emotional this time of the morning. Oh, my goodness, there's another one. Oh, Julie. Oh, wow. Now, I don't have one like this, this length. Oh, Julie, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Look at this one. Look at the length of the pearls on this one. I definitely don't, don't have one with long pearls like that, if you see, compared to that. Oh my gosh, these are stunning. I'm... Oh. I'm... Um, Oh my goodness, I'm I'm just so touched. Thank you so much. I'm... Oh, thank you. <laughs> these are gorgeous. Abs absolutely gorgeous. And these will be going on my footstool. Actually, let me get it and just show you it. And Julie... be able to get it all in but look so I have a footstool that I put these on it's a little footstool that I made and I hang them all on there how many have I got three four five six seven eight nine nine on there 
and that's what I, I do with them because I just love them. I just love the look of them and I am um, got now free hair on it. Oh Julie, I will be adding these to the footstool. Oh my goodness. I am absolutely so touched. Thank you so much. Um oh thank you. Let me just sit those to the side a moment. And this is just absolutely so beautiful. Please do let me know if you if you made this tassel. Thank you so much. I'm just going to sit these to the side. <coughs> okay, so I'm completely overwhelmed now. <laughs> and I have another UK entry. Um, and that is from... Uh, I think it's Janet Stokes' entry. Hi, Janet. I'm pretty sure it is. Um... this. Have a sip of tea. I'm just going to check if this your details. Yes it is. And um, I definitely know uh, Janet's channel. It's Jan Stoke 011 or 011. I will pop a link to Janet's um, YouTube channel down below. Janet's favourite colours: pink, cream, and white. Favourite styles: vintage and shabby chic. And she's a lovely lady. Um, please go check her out. Thank you, Janet, for entering. I hope you keep it warm because I know you're in the UK. Oh, look at this card. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Let's go have a quick read. Oh, thank you, Janet. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just move the bubble wrap. I don't know what this is from. Beautiful pink paper. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Oh. oh, they are gorgeous. I've got to take them out, Janet. They are gorgeous. I will put them back in on this packaging. But... Oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, so shabby. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, Janet, thank you so much. Look at these flowers. They are just gorgeous. They're made of cotton, real, real cotton. And doilies and fibres and more doilies and the bling. They are gorgeous. Is that a loopy one? There's a, there's, it's got like a pulled um, rosette one, then a loopy one on top, then the fibres, then... A doily and then this beautiful bling. Look at that. Oh. And then this one is a loopy one too. I do love a loopy flower. And then doilies and then this beautiful bling. Oh, thank you so much, Janet. And these will go on the inspiration board too. I mean, oh my goodness. My, my, um, Head is just full of images of what this 
inspiration canvas is going to look like. This one's got cheesecloth on it too. Um, oh, look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Janet. I love them. They're beautiful. gorgeous and so beautiful it remind when I seen it it reminded me of a, a, a ballerina that's what it reminded me of so Jen has just used a, a snip of fabric and she's got fibers um, peeping out here there and everywhere and this image this image I can see why this image inspires you. It's so delicate, so soft. It's just beautiful. And it, it just it did. It just reminded me of a very soft ballerina, you know, so elegant and um I love the pink tones on it. And I can tell pink inspires you. <laughs> and whites and creams. Laces, definitely, lots of beautiful laces all the way around. Clay flowers. Pearl and bling flowers, pearls, is this ribbon trim, that's so cute, with pearls and, and rolled ribbon roses, appliques, and then more flowers down here with the diamante, the rolled rose flowers, there's an applique behind that, and again on this flower there's an applique behind there, then there's more lace down here with all the fibres, there's laces up the side, or a number of laces up the side with fibres, a number of laces at the top with fibres, and again down this side. And then a clay flower placed in a hair. That is just beautiful. It's just got this soft, so soft, elegant look to it absolutely gorgeous thank you so much Janet this is stunning absolutely stunning and um, beautiful oh so please go check out Janet's uh, channel um, I will pop the link down below so you can say hi I absolutely adore your flowers I'm so thrilled to have them because I, I really didn't want to have to add to much of what I make. I, I, wa I want it to be what everyone else makes. But if I need to add a few flowers to fill spaces in, then I will. But that is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Janet. And thank you so much, Julie, for your entry um, as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am just loving the different styles and inspiration and seeing different pieces of of what inspires somebody. It's it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank you both so much. Um it's just beautiful. The entries and are just stunning. So thank you, Janet, thank you, Julie, and um Hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Stay warm. <laughs>